Hello, this is Jay Batson with Greenlight Group. Today we're going to see how to import a monitoring template from SiteScope into HP All My 10 and then deploy the monitor from All My 10 and monitor server. So just a word on the workflow here, we'll talk briefly about the monitoring template in SiteScope, then we'll go over how to actually import that into All My 10 and then we'll look at the process of deploying that back out to the SiteScope server to monitor server and what that looks like when that happens. So here we're looking at our monitoring template container in SiteScope and then we have our actual template that holds our variables and our monitors. Uh, just a word on the host variable, this actually has to look exactly like this. The name needs to say host and then our display order needs to be one. Uh, the display name can be whatever you want. I just put host that way when we see it in all my 10 we know what exactly what that is. Then we'll deploy this out in SiteScope just internally um, so we to, just to make sure it works we won't use all my 10 to deploy it. You can go ahead and deploy this like a normal uh, monitoring template to verify it works and then once it works okay then we'll go ahead and import that into uh, all my 10. So we'll go over to our all my 10 server so the command that we use is config exchange sys.bat and we just do the dash h here uh, to give us our utilization uh, usage of the command. Here we have a config exchange sys and this is a a good example to go off of is we need the group container. Uh, when we import that, the, this site scope host name uh, fully qualified and the port and user ID and login so that we can get our information out of the uh, site scope. So here's our command. Uh, it's a little bit bigger font so we make sure we see this. Um, we do need a BSM user. We just created demo.user and BSM password. Uh, that's the user ID there. I'm sorry, the password. And then we have the, our, the rest of our items, our MA templates container. So if we go back to SiteScope, we see that, that that's the name of the container right here. I like to just create a container at the top level with no spaces that way this command is just simpler we don't end up troubleshooting our slashes and quotes and things like that when we're trying to import this if it doesn't want to work uh, site scope host name uh, port user ID and password that we created um, this demo dot user is a different user than this demo dot user they just happen to be the same name so whatever credentials work on each specific application is what you need to put in here and then I just use the verbose uh, switch because I just like to see what's going on. So we go ahead and hit enter and we'll run this command. Okay, and then we have our output of the command. Uh, right here we see the adding version 1.0 if we if this is a template we've been working on and it was already imported into all my 10 we would see this version up uh, because this is the first one uh, we've got 1.0 so let's go to all my 10 and see what that's going to look like um, we'll go to administration monitoring policy templates and then site scope and let's just refresh this okay here's our imported template so we know that imported okay and that looks fine um, you cannot modify the template once it's been imported into OMI 10. If you need to modify the template, you need to do it in SiteScope and then re-import it. So the next thing we need to make sure before we deploy this out to the SiteScope server is that in administration, setup, and maintenance, our SiteScope server is set up and has succeeded as being a connected server. Um, once that's done, then we can go ahead and deploy this out. So we'll go ahead and click on our deployment button here. And let's just monitor our All My 10 server. So we click Next. And again, we see here, here's our variable host. And the value is going to be percent %host%. Percent. And this is just automatic. In All My 10, it's expecting this host variable. And it's going to be replaced with the fully qualified domain name of, of the server that we want to monitor. So next and then finish. <clears throat> then we have our 
assignment created. Then we want to jump over to our deployment jobs. It's administration monitoring and then deployment jobs. We'll refresh this. Now if our deployment job failed, we would see that here, but it happens pretty quick. So if we don't see it here, more than likely it was successful in making it to the SiteScope server. So now that it's been pushed out, um, there's a couple things that we're going to look for to make sure our our deployment's going to be successful. So this is the command line on the SiteScope server that we're deploying the monitor to. So if we do an OV policy list, we'll see that our Windows base MA templates policy has been pushed out to the agent. So we can see that. Um, then the next thing we can do is go back to our SiteScope server and I'll notice we have this container deployed from HP Monitoring Automation. And if we look at this, we see that this act is the exact same template. Now the reason why it does this is because we don't necessarily have to push the monitor to the same SiteScope server that we created the template on. So regardless if it's the same server or not, it's going to go ahead and push the template out underneath this specific container and use it to deploy the monitor. So let's go ahead and look at our monitors. And we'll refresh this. Again, we have this deployed from HP Monitoring Automation. And we see that we have successfully pushed out our monitor. Let's just go ahead and run that. We go and right click and run monitors. And there we go. So now we're monitoring our All My 10 server. So just real quick, you can see how quickly we can start pushing these monitors through. Now if we come back to All My 10, we can see that we've already got our messages uh, from our monitors. They've changed from no data to good. And that server is now monitored. Now the nice thing about this as well is that this will remove monitors if you decommission a server. So if we come back over to our templates and we click on our uh, list assignments button, you see this right here. Let's go ahead and delete this assignment. And again, we'll look at our deployment jobs, make sure nothing's stuck here. And we come back to SiteScope and refresh this and now there's no there's no monitors here if we come to our templates and we refresh this you see the templates been removed and that's just a brief overview of getting this done again there's a, a couple of steps we kinda glossed over that was creating actually creating the template uh, creating the integration uh, between SiteScope and OMI 10 um, but these are well documented. If you have any questions, um, please contact Greenlight Group. Uh, visit us at www.greenlightgroup.com and we can help you out there. Thanks.